The job of a vampire's familiar is not an easy one. It's very dangerous. I mean, they are vampires after all. There's a vampire approaching your room. Knock, knock. You know, usually when someone is upset, they go to their own room. Is there something you need? No, no, just coming in for a chat. You know, Celeste always comes in here and just talks. Yeah, Mo. Master, are you all right? Well, I like just talking to. How are you holding up? Your feelings have been hurt. You're glum? Yeah, Mo. Yeah, Mo. You all right? You having a serious thought? No. Yes. You know, I've been thinking. Oh, great. I need to speak to you about something. It's personal. Oh, no. Best. Take a seat, master. Shit. Guillermo is my familiar, but sometimes it's a little too familiar. Oh, I just scare the shit out of all three of us. Hmm? You don't knock anymore? Is this the new you? Hmm? Shit out of us. Never sneak up on a vampire like that, Guillermo. Guillermo. Ah! Guillermo. Ah! It's just me, Guillermo. Guillermo. Is there something you haven't been telling us? Why are you so interested in how vampires are killed now? Yeah, Mo. Did you kill Carol? <laughs> it was an yes. accident. <laughs> Please, come Sorry. on. Get off! I have Van Helsing DNA in my blood. The most notorious vampire killer. I love vampires. I, I, I killed to accidentally. <laughs> When I found out that my own familiar was killing vampires all over the place, I was so angry with him. Yeah, we know what we have to do. We have to put Guillermo to death before he puts all of us to death. But he saved our lives. It was I. I, I killed him. I killed him with my pants. Blaming the familiar. I think you're lying to protect your master. You must not say anything about this to anyone, understand? I won't. Because it reflects badly on me and you will be killed. Yeah. No! I cannot abide by this. Of this. Ah! Why did you leave me early? Because you should not be in this situation. Yeah, Mom. This delicious looking thing. What is this? Is this is this lunch? Yes, yes it's lunch. Oh, it's not lunch. Lunch. Do not eat, if possible. No, I wasn't going to let him eat you. Perhaps our familiar. Your, Your familiar, Pinkhead, is the only one that can protect us. <laughs> Cover your face! Oh, holy water! How do you know he's not going to kill us? It is in his blood! You are going to place the fate of all the Empire kind into the hands of your familiar? Well, he's actually quite a skilled vampire hunter. He's talking about he's a good soldier! That little fucker can really move when he wants to. My name's Guillermo de la Cruz. I don't care what the fuck your name is, we have to pick up our own laundry! Wow! Wow! Disrespected. Fuck this whole thing! Unappreciated. Overlooked. Easy there! I will talk to him. Fix. It's been kind of tough, honestly. You know, I've known Nandor for a long time and... Uh, he's not in my life anymore. I'm really worried about him. He's out there in the real world and it could be dangerous, you know? He's gone. Please, guys. Does that really have to be on camera? Just can you please just give me like a minute? Okay, then. Please. Sorry, would you mind giving Sorry. us a moment? I drove him away, didn't I? Perhaps I should have been a bit more aloof with him. What are you fucking talking about? He's just a familiar. Wait, Why are you being like this? Come on. I have been wondering if perhaps I was a little too relentless with Guillermo. Guillermo is no longer a familiar, so mm -hmm. just make him feel like he's part of the team. Be kind to Guillermo. He's always doing things like that for me, and I just kind of take it for granted. So, you know, that's what I do. Well, Nandor, that's terrible. He's not going to want to stay friends with you. No, he will. But what if I have a better offer right now? Hmm? What, right now? Yes. Then you should take it. What? This is it. This is my life now. You should take it. It's good to be one. Yeah, Mo. 
I'm sorry for how I treated you tonight. I appreciate you. I really do. I just want to know what I can do to bring you back home. I have no home. No, this is your home. I want to feel more respected. A sweet, sweet Guillermo. I want you to know that you are my friend. Am I not a good familiar to you? You're a great familiar. Thank you. So you'll make me into a vampire? Despite my cold, dead heart, I've grown to have some affection for you. Just a little bit, you know. And I for you. Well, obviously. There will be plenty of time for that kind of thing. But vampirism is a curse, and I care for you too much to burden you with that. Did you ever consider for one moment that I might be happy for the first time in decades? Decades! It is time for me to find happiness. Well, I want to find happiness too. What do you think I've been doing for the last 11 years? Oh boy, Why do you think I've lived with shit. you this whole time? That I found somewhere where I feel that I belong. That makes me feel useful and powerful in ways I've never felt. Never. Not in 700 years. Did you ever consider that? I know how happy you are with this Celeste. But I have been very unhappy since you left. I'm just sorry that we couldn't make him happy. And I hope he's happy now. I finally find a place where I'm happy. You drag me away from my new life back into this hell. You want us to go through this one more time? Hmm? It's a very dangerous world out there. You're joking, right? It's me who's been protecting you! Not only am I his bodyguard, <laughs> I am also his partner. The only reason you're alive is because I let you live. Guillermo de la Cruz, will you do me the honor of accompanying me on my journey around the world? And I will make you a vampire. We fucked up. Where's Guillermo? Guillermo? What is this feeling I am feeling? It's grief, master. Grief? I don't care for it. I'm not gonna be the last one in here all alone like a fucking loser. My word is my 